हेलो एवरी वन सो मैनी ऑफ यू वुड बी स्टार्टिंग योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड यू माइट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन लाइक हाउ यू शुड प्रिपेयर वॉट आर द की थिंग्स टू कीप इन माइंड हाउ यू शुड प्लान फॉर द एग्जाम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी आंसरिंग दीज क्वेश्चन सो वॉट इज द अप्रोच दैट यू शुड टेक फॉर प्रिपरेशन एंड हाउ यू शुड प्लान एज वेल एज हाउ यू शुड रिवाइज द सब्जेक्ट्स सो योर कंप्लीट प्रिपरेशन यू कैन डिवाइड इन टू पार्ट्स दैट इज planning and execution so in the planning part you need to start from the syllabus itself so first of all what is the syllabus you can see from gate website and in that what all subjects are there and after that you need to understand from where you are going to prepare for these subjects if you are doing self study then in that case you need to keep your resources ready so for all the subjects and also for questions you will need to solve questions so these resources should be ready in this part if you are directly studying from books and you haven't studied these subjects previously then it is better that you avoid studying a subject from the book you can definitely refer the books for certain parts if you are stuck for certain concept or certain topic that is a good place for a book but at the same time you should not do the whole preparation with books because books are not designed for gate exam so you will be spending much more time in figuring out what you should study and to what depth you should study so books are useful when you want to refer a topic but not great if you just want to study the whole thing from the books itself then other than that the previous year questions these are the most important among i mean apart from your study material itself you need to have these previous year questions available to understand if you are to know if you are preparing well or not then comes the next part that is the study plan so for study plan you have to make a plan for yourself whatever suits you so let's say if you are starting from march so you have total 300 days available till the exam now obviously in the last one month or two month you would it is not very advisable that you are still finishing the subjects because those days should be entirely spent in revision and tests so it would be better that you leave one month or two months just for the revision so you have about 240 days and in the and if you are talking about civil engineering so these are the subjects as per the syllabus the subjects that are there in the exam now based on how big the subject is and how important the subject is you can divide the total number of days in for each subject based on how important it is and once you do that so you have these 24 days for som 24 days for structures 22 days for soil now if you spend next 24 days in studying som itself then at the end i mean if you are just studying one sub subject after the other then at the end of it your 240 days will be over so you haven't revised anything in this process and the problem will be that in a month or two itself you will forget whatever you had studied now to improve upon that you need to divide these total number of days in revisions also so you need not reach your 100% when you are reading the subject or studying the subject for the first time as a thumb rule if you are able to solve 50% of the questions or if you are able to understand 50 to 60% of whatever is asked in gate you are good to move to the next subject and you can i mean you will definitely need to improve upon this subject but that you have to do in your revision so revision plays a very important role if you have prepared for any exam previously you would know that how quickly we forget things i made a separate video on that so the research based learning techniques that you should be using we will link the video in the description so based on that let's say for som if you have 24 days then you can spend about 50% of the time in studying it for the first time and the remaining 50% you have to divide in revisions so let's say if you are revising for after 10 days then you would not have forgotten everything 
so you can give another five days for the revision and after another 30 days after this revision you can give another week to revise this subject now the same thing if you follow then at the end of 240 days you would have studied as well as revised these subjects now another important question that comes in students mind is how you should revise like should you just study the notes that you have made or whatever you are referring or you should solve questions or you should have the combination of the two so the best way to revise is by solving questions because in the exam nobody is asking you theory you don't have to write essays you have to solve questions so in the revision you have to keep that in mind and solve questions directly obviously there will be mistakes you will be making mistakes you will be doing questions wrong but that itself is a very important aspect in learning so don't be afraid of making these mistakes because eventually that's what makes you learn that topic and in that also let's say you have solved some question from shear force and bending moment now if you are able to solve that is well and good but if you are not able to solve then figure out why you are not able to solve is there any concept that is missing then once you figure that out you can go back to your notes and study that concept that way you are approaching your notes with some question in your mind you have a question that i don't know this concept or what is this specific part of shear force or what is the sign convention let's say so once you approach any learning with questions there is a better chance that you will retain it and also another aspect is if you are approaching by doing a mistake so one way let's say you are just studying the notes and another way that you have solved some question and you made mistakes now once you make those mistakes and try to study that topic again there is a much higher chance that you will be retaining that new understanding why you made those mistakes and what is the correct way to solve these learning you will be retaining for much longer duration and retaining what you are learning is a crucial part in this process because it is about a year time you have almost a year for this preparation so definitely if you are preparing you will be able to understand these topics but to retain this information you have to follow these certain points so revision and how you should revise you should approach your revision with questions by attempting tests tests are a very good way to revise and don't treat it in a way that you don't remember anything or you start questioning yourself that you are not able to keep anything in mind test is not for that test itself is a part of your preparation it's not just for testing what you know but to improve your existing learning so make giving test as an essential part as soon as you finish a subject try to attempt at least one test for that before moving on now another point that i want to cover is when you are revising so here i am saying give five days after i mean once you have finished the subject after another 10 days spend five days to revise the topic so here it is not a rule like you can approach in two ways either you can give some time daily let's say about half an hour you are giving to revise the previous subject or once you finish a subject you can keep you can give these many days to revise overall it is better that you develop a habit of revising daily because giving all this time at once may become difficult if you are getting slowed in this process then it will hamper your overall progress so based on what works for you you need to select on that but do this exercise for yourself try to create a plan try to create how you will be studying these topics and for how many days now obviously i mean once we come to this execution part again so we talked about the planning part now when we come to the execution when you are actually studying the topic 
then you will understand that what is missing in this plan there might be some issues with the study plan whatever number of days you have decided those might not be enough then you need to update this plan again and based on that progress but one thing that basically you have to keep in mind during execution is that don't look for perfection as soon as you start studying something you will definitely make mistakes and there will be problem in understanding topics but this improvement only comes over time and only comes by revision revision not in terms of reading notes but by solving problems so by actually solving the problems you will understand the depth of a given concept or of a given topic so this plays a very significant role in your preparation so never delay in your revision if you are not perfect when you have st just studied the subject that is not at all a problem and most of you would not be able to attain some perfection just by studying it once so focus on the revision part and focus on your 1% improvement every time you revise focus on this 1% improvement and over the year you will definitely be able to do what you want to do i mean near perfection you can call it but this is the basic idea these are the two parts of planning and execution apart from that you may have a thought of how much time you should spend daily time what you should spend so if you are not already habitual of studying then it will be extremely difficult for you to do some 6 hours or 8 hours of study then whatever minimum you can decide you can start from that let's say 2 hours 2 to 3 hours per day you can start from somewhere like that and how you should spend these 2 3 hours so you can again divide it in 60% 40% or 50 50 so half of your time or less than half of your time should only go in understanding the concept or if you are seeing some video then you can see it through that but majority of your time again should be spent in solving problems because that's what eventually you have to do in exam so don't spend two to three hours per day just to see some lectures or just to see the classes just reading will not help you much you have to land on problem solving as soon as possible if you want to do your preparation with us then you can go on to our website we have special courses for gate 2023 and you have these three courses from which you can select so there is apcd1 in which you will get video lectures practice test material study material doubt support and study plan if you are choosing premium live then apart from whatever is there in APCD 1 there will be additionally live classes in which I will be solving important questions and concepts behind those questions and also how to break down a question before solving it and if you want personal mentorship also if you want me to be available in your each step of your preparation then we have our premium plus plan so apart from whatever is covered we have mentorship as well as personalized tests so you can select from these options and if you are interested you can contact us and we'll be happy to help you in figuring out which is the best plan for you